In Chicago, America, a homeless was seen when suddenly, a lot of money fell from the sky. Turned out, a robber had just broken into the building, taken some money with him, and tried to escape from there in a very acrobatic way. He strapped himself with a rope and run down the building's wall. After he managed to land his foot on land, he immediately took a bike he had prepared and left from there at a very high speed. His above-average riding skill made the police officers that tried to catch him overwhelmed. Despite all the obstacles and traffic, the robber managed to escape from the police officers that were chasing him. The police tried to corner him in a building but the robber did something unimaginable. He shot a rope that connected the building to the nearest building and rode his bike on the rope to get away. Finally, he managed to disappear from the police's surveillance and returned to the headquarters to plan his next action. It was Sahar Khan, the robber who was also the owner of a circus group called the Great Indian Circus who is currently holding auditions to find female personnel, although so far he has not found the right person to fill the position. When the audition committee was about to close the registration, suddenly a woman who rode a bicycle appeared, intending to show her talent in front of everyone. A woman named Aliyah, who had a beautiful and exotic face, stunned Sire and made Sire let her show her talent on stage. Somewhere in India, a man named Ali was seen hanging in the middle of the market by some thugs who were known to be drug dealers. He was hanged because he was caught sneaking around and one of the thugs caught him. Suddenly, his friend, ACP Jai Dixit, a police officer, showed up very dramatically while driving a rickshaw. Ali immediately got into the rickshaw so he could quickly escape from that place. The thug tried to catch them but Jai's fighting skills made the thugs overwhelmed and helped them escape from there. After managing to escape from the thugs, Jai was contacted by Detective Victoria from America for help in solving a robbery case. Western Bank of Chicago was robbed by someone who left Hindi letters and a mask. Of course, Jai felt challenged and immediately went to America with Ollie to catch the robber. As soon as they arrived in Chicago, Jai and Ollie met with the head of the bank named Mr. Anderson. Jai immediately asked whether they had fired any employees this year or if maybe the bank had a sworn enemy. Jai believed that the robbery was a motive for revenge because the robber only broke into the same bank twice. With various considerations, Jai decided to provoke the robber by challenging him so that the robber can reappear. Sure enough, Sire who watched the news was triggered to do something about it. Sire then deliberately met Jai. Long story short, Sire went to the police station to meet Jai and claimed to be the owner of the Great Indian Circus. He said that the culprit of the robbery was one of his former employees who was dressed in a clown costume. Sire was sure that he would do another robbery at the same bank again. Sire also offered cooperation by helping to provide information so the police could catch the robber alive. He believed that his former employee was not entirely wrong. After hearing an explanation from Sire, Jai agreed and told him to meet at the bank the next day. Sire purposely did that to trick Jai and entered the bank with the aim of taking the building's plan, the access code, and the evacuation route. After successfully getting all the information, Sire immediately contacted Jai to inform him that the clown was expected to do his action. It turned out that he purposely did that to prove to the police that he could never be caught. After receiving the information, Jai immediately mobilized police from all directions to guard the bank. Several hours passed but the suspect never showed up. When Ollie was on standby in front of the building, suddenly thousands of dollars were blown by the wind from above. Sire had successfully broken into the bank. After realizing what happened, Jai immediately told all the police officers to catch the robber. Sire fled using a motorbike, passing several traps from the police. He hit the gas until Ollie was overwhelmed to keep up with Sire's riding skills, although when he arrived at a bridge, surprisingly the police had blocked the road. Finally, Sire decided to jump into the river. It turned out that Sire's motorbike was equipped with super technology because it could turn into a speedboat. Jai immediately intervened by borrowing a small boat parked under the lake and told Ollie to block Sire in the water, but when Ollie tried to block his way, Sire used his speedboat to jump out of the water and pass Ollie's boat from the air. Meanwhile, Jai rushed to catch up with Sire, but somehow, Sire jumped out of the water and turned his speedboat back to a bike and hit the gas to escape from there. Jai hadn't given up yet. He got on a helicopter while carrying a gun so he could immobilize Sire immediately. While chasing Sire using the helicopter, Jai managed to land a shot in Sire's shoulder and almost made him fall off his bike, but sadly, Sire went into a tunnel and managed to escape the chase. From this incident, Jai and Ali went straight to Sire's hideout because they believed that he was the real culprit. After the show finished, without much fuss, 
Jai immediately approached Sire and took off Sire's clothes to check on his shoulder to check the gunshot wound on his shoulder using a scanner-like tool, but surprisingly, they didn't manage to find the slightest wound on Sire's shoulder. That made Jai confused. Knowing that Jai had left, Sire immediately went downstairs to rest after a day of show. When he looked in a mirror, surprisingly, another person without any slightest difference from him showed up. It turned out that Sire has a twin brother. The one that Jai shot during the chase was Sire's twin brother whose name is Samar. Sire had been hiding Samar's identity. They had their own duties to trick the police so they could take revenge on Mr. Anderson. Back when Sire and Samar were 12 years old, their father named Iqbal Khan experienced a financial crisis because his circus was not selling well. He made a decision to borrow money from the Western Bank of Chicago which was managed by Mr. Anderson, but it turned out that Iqbal could not pay his debts until Mr. Anderson confiscated the circus building which was collateral, and because he was unable to deal with the problems, Iqbal decided to end his life in front of Sire and Samar. From that incident, they vowed to take revenge on Mr. Anderson by robbing the Western Bank of Chicago so he could feel the loss that destroyed their future. It was discovered that Samar had autism since childhood and his father had been hiding him in backstage. Samar, who is different from his older brother, actually has deep feelings for Aliyah, the newest member of the circus. Her smile made his heart beat so fast. He wanted to express his love, but he decided not to do it. He chose to pour out his heart in a diary. Meanwhile, Jai who felt very embarrassed because he couldn't catch the robber intended to return to India and wanted to forget this case but Ali insisted that Jai could finish his job because not a single criminal could escape from his ambush. Finally, Jai regained his motivation and decided to continue his goal of capturing the robber. Jai suspected Sire of hiding something because it was impossible for him to recover in just a short time after getting shot. Jai then decided to investigate Sire's circus. He disguised himself as a technician officer to reveal the secret behind all this. When he followed Sire, he finally found out about Samar, Sire's twin brother. Jai began to find a bright spot regarding the secret that Sire had been hiding. Jai put together a strategy to immobilize them in a way that cannot be predicted by them. Sometime later, Jai began his mission by following Samar. He knew that Samar regularly went out of the circus to the amusement park from Detective Victoria. Jai acted by pretending to be homeless to attract Samar's attention, and sure enough, after Jai did the scheme, Samar finally fell into a trap. Jai finally befriended Samar. He was also invited by Samar to ride all the rides and spend the time playing until the afternoon. When it was late in the afternoon, Samar decided to return home because the bus that would pick him up would arrive soon. Samar was happy because it was the first time he had fun with a friend. All this time, he had been forbidden to have friends by his older brother, because that could mess up the plans that had been prepared all along. He promised to meet Jai next week so they could spend their time together again. The next day Sire went to the bank disguised as an old man and intended to rob the bank for the last time so that Mr. Anderson's shares would decline, making the bank bankrupt and their revenge will be avenged. One week passed and as usual, Samar went to the amusement park to meet Jai. Before trying the rides, Jai suddenly mentioned Aliyah. All of a sudden Samar, who heard this immediately confided in Jai that he really liked Aliyah. From there, Jai started his plan by scapegoating Samar and Sire by saying that Aliyah had feelings for Sire. This made Samar jealous of Sire and he immediately went home feeling angry. Samar immediately asked to switch roles while acting on stage with Sire because he felt bored performing backstage. Sire started to get confused about why Samar behaved like that and immediately agreed to his wish. After finishing the show, Aliyah, who was holding Samar's hand, made his heart beat so fast. Aliyah immediately asked Samar out on a date, knowing that he also had the same feelings for her. Before going on his date with Aliyah, Samar went to his room to change his clothes. Sire started to question what happened. Samar said that he wanted to live freely like other people in general and love women the way normal people do. The two argued until Sire started reminding him that their purpose in coming to America was to destroy the bank that had made his father die. Samar insisted to meet Aliyah which triggered Sire's anger. Sire slapped Samar. Samar was irritated and just left from there without a single word to say. Meanwhile, Sire just stood there, unable to do anything, and regretted slapping his brother. A few hours after they started their date, Samar took Aliyah to the station because she had to go home. Samar was surprised because suddenly, Aliyah brought her face closer and the two finally kissed. 
Meanwhile, at the police station, Jai invited Mr. Anderson and intended to provide information that the perpetrator of the robbery was the son of Iqbal, whose life was destroyed because the bank had confiscated his circus building 25 years ago. Jai was sure that the attempts of robbery before were revenge missions so his bank went bankrupt. Jai asked the Chicago police to act immediately to stand by at the bank, before acting, Jai first met with Samar intending to ask him to leave his brother because he had been set as a bolo. The goal was to save Samar because he believed he was only being used by his brother, but it turned out that when Jai walked away, the person that Jai thought was Samar turned out to be Sire who disguised himself as his brother to find out the purpose of Jai. He suspected something had happened to his brother and decided to follow him. He then found out about Jai. Sire then decided to tie Jai to the rail of a ride in the amusement park for him to die, but luckily, Ali secretly followed Jai because he felt something bad would happen. Ali immediately untied the ropes that tied Jai's hands and feet so he could save his life. After letting go of the ropes, Jai immediately ordered the squad team to surround the bank so that Sire and Samar wouldn't have a chance to escape from there, but suddenly, when the officers entered the lobby of the building, toxic gas leaked out of the ventilation so that all officers were forced to come out. Seeing there was a faint chance, Samar and Sire immediately intended to run away and destroy the name of the bank using a bomb. Then they immediately took their bike to escape. Jai and Ali also immediately took their bike so they could chase the two robbers. During the chase, Samar and Sire parted ways at the T-junction to trick the police officers who were chasing them. They believed that this method would be more effective in outwitting Jai, Ali, as well as the other police officers. When they entered an intersection, they finally succeeded in escaping the police cars by making them crash. They then split up again to lure Jai and Ali to split up too. When Jai and Sire arrived on a deserted road, they immediately got into a battle. Jai was forced to give in because it turned out that Sire dominated the fight. Fortunately, Sire still let him still live. Sire then left from there after he managed to paralyze Jai. He immediately tried to find his younger brother who was still being chased by Ali. Jai immediately got up and chased Sire and Samar with the help of Ali who quickly helped him. Sire made the decision to run away by using a fishing boat so that the two policemen could not chase them, but suddenly, Jai and Ali desperately hit the gas and jumped to reach the boat. Sire was asked to surrender because the Chicago police had surrounded them at sea and on land and there was no chance to escape, but suddenly, Sire pressed a secret button so that the bike he was riding on could merge with his younger brother's motorbike. Finally, Sire and Samar managed to escape by combining their two motorbikes and jumping away from the boat. The next day, Jai found out that Sire and Samar were going to pass the biggest dam in America to run away. Jai then took Aliyah to persuade Samar to give up. Knowing they were cornered, Sire negotiated so that Jai won't put his brother in prison. He offered to give all his crime information in exchange for his brother's freedom. After Jai agreed, Sire approached Samar and told him that he was free to do everything he wanted and that he would live happily with Aliyah. Suddenly, Sire attempted to jump off the dam to end his life because he didn't want to end up in prison. Thankfully, Samar grabbed his brother's arm in time. Samar didn't want to let go of Sire's hand. He had promised his father not to let go of his brother under any circumstances, even though he knew that his life would not be as normal as usual. Samar finally decided to jump with his brother to run away from all the problems that were chasing them. Jai regretted the decision that Samar and Sire had taken for doing such an unforgivable sin. After that incident, they immediately went to Mr. Anderson. His bank had gone bankrupt after the last robbery.